New France awaits us, children. Welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization. When last we left off, we uh, embarked upon the New World, set upon the New World, built the city of Quebec, and uh, scouted around a bit with our soldier. As you can see, the Indians are not exactly happy by the fact that we have a soldier next to one of their cities. We also entered it, but we didn't really do anything. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that season scout. And uh, our caravel is heading back to the sea lanes to sail to La Rochelle to pick up that season scout so I can do a bit more exploring and greeting of the tribes and see what they want and everything. Now before I move this guy, I'm going to go ahead and click back on the city and see if I can optimize this shit up some. This guy is just a hardy pioneer, so really he shouldn't be in here. This is not quite his specialty. But I don't know what I can really do with him. I can't make food there because I don't have a dock yet. Speaking of which, I should try building something like that. A fur trader's home, a blacksmith, tobaccoist house. Tell you what, folks. Rather than produce something from the very beginning, which I could, make no mistake, like lumbars. Yeah, uh, what we're going to do is... Where is my carpenter's house here? Carpenter shop. I need lumber to make him work there, though, I think. Or he's going to build hammers for me. And we can't exactly buy that. We're going to need 52 hammers for that. He's going to produce three hammers a turn. Maybe I won't be building that anytime soon. Perhaps I will be better off just by... Tobacco in his house. What does this place do? We can produce cigars. Well, since we'll have tobacco available, we could make cigars. We could get money, could we not? Yeah. Tobacco gets turned into cigars. We don't have any lumber for the hammers, so that'll work. Yeah. Everything sounds like it'll be great, folks. I like the sound of that. These are different types of buildings. I think this is more than what a, a traditional colony gets started with, but this is your first colony, so you get a few. We're going to go ahead and make cigars. We can sell those in Europe for a tidy sum of money, and we can use the money to do things that we want to do. Yeah. And I'm going to move this soldier back into Quebec. Rather than establish a new colony, I can just uh, go ahead and uh, set foot in there. Because we have bonus food and everything. Everything will be good and okay. Ooh, right. Okay, so one feature that you have in the game which can help you in your quest for ultimately independence is something called the Continental Congress, which will be cobbled together out of Founding Fathers. Uh, the uh, assortment of folks that you have offered to you will be random. It's, it'll be out of a group of five. It'll be like, you know, one will each be like trade, exploration, so forth, so forth. It'll be random, though, so you might end up with choices that you wouldn't like at all. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what these folks can do for us here. Peter allows construction of the Custom House in your colonies, which can streamline trade with Europe and allows European trade during the Revolution. Nah. We're very far from the Revolution right now, folks. Hudson increases the output of all fur trappers. That sounds worthless to me because eventually if you sell so many goods back home, you'll lower the price and then you won't gain as much profit, even though fur seems awfully fitting for me. Considering how New France and all. A colony with no standing soldiers is attacked. A colonist automatically takes up any stockpile muskets in defense of the colony. No. Thomas Paine. Liberty Bell production in all colonies is increased by the value of the current tax rate. Liberty Bells, which are produced in town halls, um, not only do they help you generate founding fathers, but they will also help guide you on the path to revolution. They will incite the populace to support freedom and independence. Uh, so you need to have those, but we don't have a tax rate right now, we won't get one for a while. So that leaves William Penn down there. What do you do, buddy? Cross production and all- <sighs> Why can we not have William Brewster or somebody? I don't know. I do not like these choices at all. I- I- I disapprove. No, Thomas Paine, remember, increased by value of the current tax rate. Urgh. Cross production, I don't think that's valuable either. I guess we'll just plan for the future, because eventually I'll have a higher tax rate. 
and I'll go ahead and pick up Thomas Paine. Though I would have preferred somebody much sooner in the beginning. I mean, you can't get lucky with everything, folks. You could, but that's not me. Luck is my dumpstead. Remember, everybody? Luck is my dumpstead. Let's go ahead and explore some more, though. Uh, until my season scout gets here, I might as well aggro some more Indian tribes. Alrighty. Drag. Alright, he'll automatically board. I can actually arm him with muskets. But I don't feel like doing that. I can sell his horses, too. But I won't do that either. And that's what scouts can do. They have better luck with exploring Lost City rumors, but I won't be doing that. Let's see here. Recruit. Shit, William Brewster would also allow me to entirely circumvent... Um, there are multiple types of colonists that you can get in this game. There are petty criminals, which are the worst. Then you have indentured servants, which are better. Free colonists are pretty average at everything, and can grow up or learn becoming experts. Servants aren't that much worse than colonists. Uh, they're equal at some things. But definitely try to stay away from petty criminals. I think since we're playing on easier difficulty, it won't encounter that problem. But yeah, William Brewster will not... He will, uh... The, the, the lowest you can have is free colonists. You can't get any criminals or indentured servants. We'll get over that, folks. And here you could, uh... We can pay the passage to get some people over to our side quicker. In this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and pay for... I think I'm going to pay for an expert farmer here. You can also purchase items. We'll be doing that later. And you can train to get a, a specialist. From the Royal University. Some of those folks are incredibly expensive, like an elder statesman. Hopefully we'll get one of those for free. Bidding 10, asking level. We could buy some tools to help us with our building adventures. We could. Hmm. Tools are pretty cheap. That's what it looks like to me. Trade goods so I can trade the Indians. Nah. Let's go ahead and bring along that expert farmer. And as soon as you pick out somebody, another person will join the pool. In this case, a master tobacconist is in the pool now. And uh, let's go ahead and bound this place out for New France with uh, a master farmer, or an expert farmer, or whatever I already forgot. And a seasoned scout, which will allow us to explore the map. Hmm. I may end up settling another colony. It depends on, uh, like, right away. It depends on where the Native Americans are. The Amer Indians. Where there's shacks, and... So, you should go to... Quebec. That'll be good. You continue to explore. Alrighty, there's another village. Hmm... Now, theoretically, like, uh, I guess I could settle a place there. It doesn't look like it would be too bad. I'd have fur there and everything. Although that, that tile is, uh, right next to, uh, a village, so I'd have to pay for it or what have you. Just continue to walk around. Since we're French, uh, the, the, the Indians don't get too aggravated at our antics. Which is good. Stars forbid they get angry at me. Oh man, look at all these Lost City rumors. Some of them could contain bounty, treasure, the fountain of youth. It's going to be very tempting, folks, and I'm, I'm going to have to do my best to stay away from it. But uh, I'm hoping to drive SKS crazy, so there you go. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We are going to want you to do a bit of farming. As silly as that seems in retrospect, because I have forests around, and you're not exactly going to be the best farmer in the world. We kind of built on our farm. This is immaterial, folks. Do do not do not question me. <laughs> do do not. We got 27 cigars. That looks like it could be uh, fruitful. We'll just go ahead and produce more food. Less I. No, I won't get more tobacco, so I can't produce more cigars. We'll just produce more food. Get our colony to increase quicker, or... Actually, for the time being, I, I, I see that perhaps maybe I was just a little silly in buying this guy. It's my first game, okay? Let's go ahead and mine silver. Silver can sell for a lot of money, and we'll do that. I'll go ahead and take these cigars along with you. You're going to go sell those. 
All 27 of them. Please. Oh, and Season Scout. Can, can I give you orders right now? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. No, I didn't mean to do that either. Don't clear your fucking specialty. Oh, fuck it. Perhaps you'll get... Let me give him... Yeah, you'll let me order him around. The time is right. Or what the fuck ever. Fetchy Tribe is pleased to see the progress of our neighbors at Quebec. We have come to offer you eight cloth. That's nice. Religious unrest causes increased immigration. We now have a master tobaccoist. Okay. Let's go ahead and move in here. I'll go ahead and take that cloth along with me too, I reckon. Move these cigars. Where's the cloth at? There we go. Let's go ahead and take the cloth. I'm going to go ahead and sell it for profit. I like the sound of profit. Let's go get profit. Let's get money. Let's get rich. Lots of goods. We'll grab that master tobaccoist and do something with him. What it is yet, I'm not sure, but it promises to be enjoyable. Let's talk to our friends down here. Eventually. Please. And... Hmm. Alrighty. Let's consult with them. Ask to speak with the chief. Greetings, Traveler. We are a peaceful village known for our seasoned scouts. We gladly trade with you if you bring us some badly needed coats. We would also pay well for food or rum. Pass your pleased welcome, Traveler, from afar. Come sit by our fire. We shall tell the tales of nearby lands. Okie dokie. That's cool, I guess. Not... I could sneak in a colony, like, here. What would that get me if I snuck in a colony there? I wouldn't be connected to land. And, uh, however, I'd have access to cotton for what that's worth. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Settling colony... I, I, I really do think I'll settle a colony up there. That sounds like a good plan. And I'll just have to deal with the fact that the beaver is controlled by them. So in that case, uh, let me go ahead and uh, move my veteran. We're going to head him back to Quebec. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Didn't mean to aggro you. Cargo from the New World! Yay! We just got some cargo. Sold 30 cigars at 10 gold per ton. 300. We made up for the fact that, you know, we, uh, speed bought that, uh, guy. Damn! Just indentured servants. I disapprove. I disapprove! It's, uh, that guy will automatically be brought along. No changes. I can bless him as a missionary. That could actually end up being more useful for me than a tobaccoist in the long haul, even though he's a master. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was a pretty loud stretch. Then again, you know, I could have him making more cigars, but I'm not getting that much tobacco, so... Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Those engines wanted, uh, coats. Coats are pretty expensive. They also trade for rum, which is also pretty expensive, or food. We could bring him along some trade goods. I'd really need a wagon train for that, though. From my understanding, uh, Indians prefer trading on land over than by the sea. So you'll get more of a profit that way. So we won't actually worry about that, then. I'll go ahead and bring along some tools. And uh, bring along this guy. He'll, he'll automatically be brought along. That's good. Steady as she goes. Let's go ahead and take you back there. You go consult with that group of people there. That'll be good. Price of furs rose. Uh oh. I might have screwed myself out of a turn there. I'm not sure. I asked to speak with the chief. Seasoned scouts, tobacco, coats, and food. I could trade my tobacco to them. Ah, oh, here we go. I'll get my turn now. Well, I'm making cigars, so perhaps not. I could change that. 
Alrighty, as you can see, our due to our Liberty Bell production here, we are slowly moving towards independence, everybody. That's good, right? I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, where's my, uh, I think that's my hardy pioneer there. Yeah, I'm actually going to move him out of the city with 60 tools to help him improve the land so that we can get more bonuses. I'll then send my, uh, I guess my guy over here. I'll have him work on... Sure. I'll have him actually work on... We need to chop down lumber. I need to get some lumber, I think. So I can build some hammers. So I can get stuff like a docks. So I can start harvesting the ocean and the fish. I think it's a good plan, everybody. Well, we, we've got a, enough money for now, I think. We'll be good. I hope. We'll see. We shall see. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah! Um. Maybe I can just send the Master Tobagoist over there. No. I can have the Hardy Pioneer go over there and uh, clear out that lair area and plow it. That sounds like a plan. I like that. That's a good idea, Grimoth. Why didn't you think of that sooner? <laughs> So, let's go ahead and uh, head on in there, then. Okay. You, can I give you orders? Like in here? No. Not anything that I want to do. You actually can, I guess you can make cigars, but we don't have enough tobacco, so that'd be kind of silly for you to do that right now. Uh, I guess you can start making me some hammers. A whopping three hammers per turn. We'll finish this in no time. You chop me down lumber, I'll eventually have an excess of that, which is cool. Go ahead and deposit those tools in there. Everything will be fine. I think. I hope. That'll be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and send our scout here to talk with that group. I think that takes care of our turn. We got 12 furs. Thank you, free items. Stuff I can sell. Uh, right. So I'll go ahead and move you out then. And then... Oh, shit. No! I want to get control of... That's it's not, it's not giving me what I want. I want to give you orders! Why, 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 why is this game haunting me? Ugh, look. Here. I'll do this. Wait for next unit. There we go. Ask the peak with chief. Coats, tobacco, rum. Nearby land scouting. Okay. Wait. 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 What, what, what the fuck? Is it taking you that long to assemble tools? What the hell? Listen, you are vexing me here. Ah. Okay, we'll slide back in there then and wait for your candy ass. Grimmer is getting angry. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of Grimace rage. Wait for next unit. Wait for next unit. What the fuck is that pioneer doing? Grimmiff is learning how to play. Okay. Wait for next unit. You. Move out. Wait for next unit. Wait for next unit. You. Get in the boat. Thank you. Was it so fucking hard? It was. <laughs> On a scale of one to fucking hard. Actually, I like. I would like it better if my colonies were a bit closer there. Three, four. That'd be... Say, that's like five movement spaces that are separated there. Oh, well. I'll worry about that next time, folks. It's in a wrap here. Thank you all for tuning in. Join me next time when I continue to get frustrated.
over this game. See you later.